Hi, I'm Fanatics Cho. This week, I delivered a full day Fanatics workshop to 10 kids aged 8 to 12 years. Here are some of the lessons I took away. Kids learn Fanatics a lot faster than adults. The main challenge with adults is remembering the sound of each of the 25 vowel symbols. No such problem with the kids. Kids have an extraordinary capacity to connect the phonetic symbol to its sound. How do they do it? I was given a clue when they playfully took this symbol, which has the sound OR, turned it sideways and said OR, oh, angry face. <laughs> and throughout the day, they said OR, oh, angry face whenever this symbol was needed. So here's a lesson that we adults could take away. Make learning fun and it becomes easier. Be playful or even crazy so long as it helps us learn. Kids love to be challenged so they were up for every game and quiz I threw at them. In fact, they all wanted to outdo each other always asking was I the first and even when they knew they weren't the first to get the answer right. The next question was, was I the second? Now my phonetics workshop was developed for adults so I had to edit, remove or add content that would bring value to and increase the engagement with my new audience, the kids. This is the first rule for all trainers and presenters. Understand your audience and make their problem your purpose. These were some of the changes I made. 1. I know that learning 49 phonetic symbols would be challenging. So I told them right at the start that it was going to be tough and asked them if they were up to it. I know kids love challenges, so by doing this, I got them pumped up to rise above themselves. 2. For the adult classes, I used this passage from Dalai Lama for an exercise. For the kids, I used this passage from Toy Story 2 instead. I even changed the title of my workshop from Speaking Well for Success to All Kids Can Speak Well. The final lesson I learned from the kids is something I don't have an answer to. When I told them this word, is pronounced cure and not cure. One of the kids asked me, if I said cure in an English uh, oral exam, will the teacher fail me? Now here's the dilemma, not just for me as a phonetics coach, but maybe for the Ministry of Education. Are our school teachers trained to distinguish colloquial from standard, i.e. proper, English? On the one hand, do we accept or encourage our children to continue saying a word wrongly? On the other, what are we doing to ensure our children learn to speak accurately and clearly in formal education? If you have an answer, do share your thoughts here. I leave you with some snippets from my class. I'm Fanatics Joe. Have a great day. I definitely want to come again, for sure, for sure. Uh, this class is not about the quantity, but actually the quality. I love this class very much. This is actually a class for 25 years old and above, but I really think that's not true. Because children like us really enjoy the lesson, so I think you should come.